CNN International right now, Russia, Syria news conference. What's going on, guys? Monday, September 9, 2013. Hope you all had a nice weekend. The week is upon us. I'm really hoping we get through this week without seeing one event go down. But I have the uh, latest round of madness to give you here. Yahoo News, China tells Washington to return to UN on Syria urges caution. Link to that. I got one from the Market Watch. EU calls for clear, strong response to Syria. But European nations stop short of encouraging a military strike. Link to this. Obama leaving door open to Syria strike, even if Congress says no. Why are you even asking them if you're going to do it anyway? Put a link to that. And um, on, a, on a similar note, got these two stories. Yahoo News. U.S. could increase scale of Syria strikes. I have no doubt we will. One missile flies off, and you have just started the end game, in my opinion. From Freedom Outpost, Pentagon's report refutes carry 75,000 ground troops needed to secure chemical weapons in Syria. Do you think there'll be boots on the ground? Let's see. i uh, got another one here. Days before, first of all, Obama, you make me sick. You're going to address the American people on Tuesday, the day before 9-11. You're going to use the memory of 9-11 to push your new war. Absolutely disgusting. Got this. Days before 9-11 anniversary, 94% uh, of stories don't mention Al-Qaeda in Syria. Here's a question to the people who believe the official story of 9-11. Why is it, if Al-Qaeda attacked us on 9-11, why is it that our government now supports Al-Qaeda? You check yourself. Put a link to this. Uh, I got one from Press TV. U.S. Will U.S. military be Al Qaeda's air force in Syria on September 11th? Question mark. Will they indeed? Fox News. Al Qaeda linked rebels gain control of Christian village. Uh, Syrian activists say now, if you want to see the people, where we, if you want to see the rebels, you know we all we, we've heard all the horrible stories about Assad, but if you want to see some some some. You want to see who we're supporting over there. Read this story. Read what these people are doing. I'll put a link to back it up. Obama's rebel, dis, Obama's rebels dismember live girl in Syria. This posted September 7th. Just absolutely. These are the people the Obama administration is supporting. Doesn't that make you think? From the Washington Times, moderate Syrian rebels post image of selves by burning U.S. Capitol on Facebook page. Who are we supporting in Syria? One from the Daily Caller. Senators who voted for Syria strike got more defense contractor dough. Yeah, no doubt. It's all about money. It's all about money, power, greed, the New World Order. That's all this is about. This is not about chemical weapons. Yahoo News. In an interview, Assad says he had nothing to do with attack. Link to this from Global Research, U.S. military intelligence officers to Obama. Assad not responsible for chemical attack. Why are we going to bomb Syria again? John Kerry himself said, it doesn't matter who did this. We're going to bomb Syria anyway. What? Out of control government, man. Out of control, tyrannical government. From the Daily Sheeple, uh, let's see. If Americans could read classified documents... They'd be even more against Syria action. Interesting article here. I'll put a link to this. Uh, let's see. On the uh, war front, three Russian warships approaching Syria. China joins the party. We already know about this. I'll put a link to it anyway for anybody who doesn't know. From the blaze, check this out. I made another Jericho connection over the weekend. Texas politician says state is preparing to become independent nation in case union falls apart. Second season of Jericho. That's exactly what happened. Remember, they couldn't get Texas to side with Cheyenne. Texas was on their own. They couldn't figure out which government they were going to go with. Interesting story here. This just comes out September 7th. Following the line, following the, almost the storyline of Jericho almost perfectly. Got a few videos for you to check out. This video needs to go viral. I see it's already got 105,000 views. Guy calls for Carrie. I'm sorry. John calls for John McCain to be arrested and tried for treason. You want to take a look at this video. Make that viral. That's awesome. And you notice toward the end of the guy's speech, uh, the people in the background were trying to shut him up. Remember Bill Hicks? Shut him up. We got a lot invested in this ride. Shut up. Don't let him say that. No, check the video out. 
Put a link to that. Got one from uh, Mox News. Russia Today declares 9-11 was an inside job false flag attack. Definitely take a look at this video. A lot of great information there. Last video link at the bottom. Guess what? There was a video that came out in 2007 that predicted the Syria-Iran attack. I'll put the link. Check it out. Listen to what the video is telling you. That's from 2007. And I highly recommend. I'll start the video at the point that I want you to hear, but I highly recommend for anyone who doesn't know what's going on here, back this video up and watch the whole thing. It's only 10 minutes if you want a clear picture of what's going on right now. That's all the links I got for now, guys. Please rate this video. Please share it. Pass the information around. Keep your friends and family members informed. I don't know what's going to happen this week, but I have a really bad feeling. I hope I'm wrong. You guys take care. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.